called the rise of religion. They're getting more and more powerful. Now, what I see about it as a big threat is that these tend to be male-dominated uh, places. They're getting their uh, they're getting their power. They're getting their their um, support from an idea of power in the past, which was basically male in the past. So we're getting uh, a return, I think, to uh, a more and more hegemonic male uh, kind of government because of of the uh, the return of religion. That, that worries me. I have a question back here. Yeah. On this, uh, back here, way back here. Yeah. On the subject of corporate uh, corporate entities possibly coming into power and thus uh, creating religion, uh, how do you Not feel? Not creating religion. Or, or be, being the religion becoming, of the day. Becoming yeah. the, uh, another displaced sovereignty that's now right. once in future sovereignty. So many people in Saskatchewan describe the Saskatchewan Rough Riders as their religion. Oh, it's and, uh, and, 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 and Disney, I see, I see Disney as sort of having, like they have everything that I think religions... I see, see in religions, they have mythology, they have a, a Mecca that you can go to, many of them, in fact. Uh, so do you see that as like uh, maybe another uh, parallel to what you're describing? Uh, I think that the male organization of sport, and it's an, uh, an attenuated violence in some way, but it's about violence, mirrors these, these state groups. But I'm not sure I see them as state groups. I haven't thought about Disneyland. Actually, Bill Arnell is an expert on Disneyland. <laughs> uh, but uh, I haven't thought of it like that. But there are, there are kind of these mini uh, narratives that work to support the big narrative, like Santa Claus supporting the big narrative. Santa Claus is the, as the happy god. Or uh, uh, I can't think of much like Mickey Mouse so much. Donald Duck. But the the, the myth, well, they're sort of totem animals. They would go back to perhaps earlier times like that. So I have to think more about that. But I think the narrative gets spun out in in the ways you're talking. Or the Easter Bunny, you know, somehow gift giving and and uh, benevolent and very big, big something like that. and male. Uh, yes, back there. Considering both religious and political views, do you think religion should have a say in political affairs? A say in what? Political affairs. Like, should they have a... Right? They? Well, everyone should have a say in political affairs. Well, like, should yeah. religion itself be... But, there, but I, oh, I hope you see that I'm, I don't think there is a re thing religion itself. It, it's all about government, some institutions taking this name on and thereby mystifying their, their presence in the discussion. So of course, all, these, all, groups, all groups, all individuals should have something to say about the polis. That's where uh, the word politics comes from, something to say about the city. It also comes from the Greek word for, for head. So uh, yes, of course, they, they should, but, but, we get to say things back to them. And that's the trick. We get to ask, how come it's Mussolini who made the Vatican what it is, mm -hmm. a separate state? What is the deal that, uh, that was made there? We get to point out all kinds of things about uh, the Catholic Church. We get to talk more about sexual abuse within the Catholic Church. We get to talk about... Um, I certainly don't want to interfere with people wearing whatever they want to wear. But I get to talk about it, just as they get to talk about my clothes. So if, if that discussion is open, then it's really open. And, and that's what I would like to see. There's no hands-off. There's no more, oh, we can't discuss this. No, we could discuss everything. 